Okay, this week we are taking you to Vermont to talk about, of course, what is this? Maple syrup. Maple syrup. Vermont makes about half of the country's maple syrup. Business is booming right now, and nobody knows that better than the family we talk to because they've been doing it for more than a century. There's a lot of memories. It's been in the family for 103 years. This is my great grandmother, and that's my aunt. It's really fun to flip through those old photos. That's my great grandmother's sugar house. This is me, Jenna, at Baird Farm. I'm a fourth generation sugar maker on our farm. A sugar maker <laughs> is what we call ourselves. We mostly make and sell maple syrup. It's sap from a maple tree. Right? All trees have sap. Like this tree has sap, this tree has sap. My name's Jacob Pausner. I'm Jenna's other half. We tap just shy of 14,000 trees now. And so there's suction on all 14,000 spouts. Beckett, you know the tool they use at the dentist's office to slurp your mouth, right? We have three really big slurp tools here, right? Cool, we're all on the same page so far. Any questions, Charlie J? So often people ask me, what do you add to it? There's no added sugar, so it's just pure sap purely boiled down and concentrated. It, it takes about 45 to 55 gallons of sap to make just one gallon of maple syrup. It's growing really fast. So Vermont last year made like two million gallons of maple syrup. So it's quintupled in size over like 15 to 20 years, depending on the numbers you look at. Part of that is technology. A lot of it is demand, right? People want more natural, less processed sugars. People are cooking with it and using it in marinades and baking with it. Let's go look at a tank. This will be fun. We do a lot of agritourism. Then we drill. Tours with families. 14,000 holes into the trees. I mean, I think it's really important to know what goes into your food and the health benefits on your food and know the people that are making it. Lots of times you're knee deep in snow, right? A lot of syrup that sits on the shelf in the grocery store has high fructose corn syrup in it. So this is the real deal. It's coming from all wild maple trees. So we don't plant any of the trees on our property. It's all, all wild. And that's what we try to like emphasize here is that like good food comes from like making this connection with the land. Do you love your job? I love it. Look at the smile on my face. <laughs> yes, <laughs> it's a lot of fun. I a lot of times think about it when I'm actually like out in the woods because my great grandmother used to tap some of the trees that we still tap today. So yeah, I think, I think it's really important to be able to share that with folks, connecting people to their food and learning about where their food comes from.